Hello, everyone. It's awesome that you're all here, so many of you. That's really, really great. Um, so Leo already talked a lot about um, this event, and I'm going to talk a bit about Wikidata itself and what has been happening around it over the last year and uh, where we are going. So what is this? Sorry. So where are we, where are we going? Over the last year, there has been so much to celebrate and I want to highlight some of that um, because sometimes it goes unnoticed. And first, I want to take you through some statistics around uh, editors and our content and how our data is used. So. Over the last year, we have um, grown our community, which is amazing. Um, we have around 3,000 new people who edit once or, or more in 30 days. So that's 3,000 new Wikidatans. Yay! <laughs> um, now if you look at people who do more, like five edits in 30 days, um, We've got an additional 1,200 roughly. And if you look at the people who do 100 edits or more, I hope many of you in this room, <laughs> we have 300 more. Raise your hand if you're in this last group. Woo! <laughs> you're awesome. Um, and while our, the number of edits is usually not something um, we pay a lot of attention to, we did cross the 1 billion edit marks this year. All right, let's look at content. Um, <coughs> so we're now at 65 million items, so entities to describe the world. And we're doing this with uh, around 6,700 6, properties. Um, of those, around 4,300 are external identifiers, um, which gives us a lot of linking to other catalogs, databases, websites, and more, and really makes Wikidata the central place in a linked open data web. So, <coughs> Using those um, properties and items, we have around 800 million <coughs> statements now. And compared to last year, we know about half a statement more about every single item. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Wikidata got smarter. Um, but we don't just have items and properties, we also have new stuff, like lexemes. And we're now at um, 204,000 lexemes that describe words in many different languages. It's very cool. And I will talk more about this um, in a session later today. And last, the latest addition um, are entity schemas that help us figure out how to mo consistently model data across a certain area. And of those, we have around 140 now. Now, numbers are not everything around content, right? Amount of content. We also care about quality of the content. And what we've um, done now is we've trained a machine learning system to judge the quality of an item. Now, this is far from perfect, but it gives you an idea. So every item in Wikidata gets a score between one and five. One is pretty terrible, five is amazing. Um, and it looks at things like how many statements does it have, how many external identifiers does it have, how many references are there, how many uh, different labels are there in, in different languages, and so on. And then we looked at Wikidata over time. Um, and as you can see, based on these measures, we went from pretty terrible to much better. 
<laughs> so that's good. Um, but what you can also see, there's still a lot of room to five. <laughs> now, I don't think um, this is where we will get to, right? Not every item will be absolutely perfect according to these measures that, that we have taken. But I'm, I'm really happy to see that consistently the quality of our data is getting better and better. <coughs> okay, but creating that data uh, isn't, isn't enough. We, want this, we do this for a reason, right? We want it to be used. And now we looked at how many articles on each of the other Wikimedia projects uses data from Wikidata. And we looked at the percentage of all articles on, on those projects. Now if you look across all of Wikimedia and all of the articles there, then 56.35% of them today make use of some data from Wikidata, which I think is pretty good. But of course, <laughs> there's still a lot of room to 100. Um, and then I looked at uh, which projects are actually making most use of Wikidata's data. Um, and I split this by language versions and so on. And now, what do you think the top five projects, which ones are all of them? Which project family do they belong to? Okay, that's pretty uniformly commons. You would actually be wrong. All of the top five are Wiki Voyage. <laughs> so yeah, uh, applause to Wiki Voyage. <laughs> If you would like to check where Commons actually is and where all of your other projects are, there's a dashboard. Um, come to me and we can check it out. Um, and of course, inside Wikimedia is not the only place where our data is used, it's also used outside. And there, so much has happened, um, I, I can't begin to mention it all, but um, to highlight some, there, there were great uses of our data at the Met, at the Wellcome Trust, at the Library of Congress, in Gene Wiki, and so many more. And um, if you go through some of the sessions later in the program, you will hear about some of them. <coughs> All right, enough statistics. Let's look at some other highlights. So we already talked about data quality improving. And when you look at data quality, there are a lot of dimensions that you can look at. And we've improved on some of those, like how accurate is the data, how trustworthy is the data, like how referenced is it, um, how consistent is it modeled, um, how complete is it, is it, and so on. Um, and just to pick out one, for consistency, for example, we have created the ability to store entity schemas now in Wikidata so that you can describe how certain domains should be modeled. So you can find, you can create an entity schema of, say for Dutch painters, um, and then you can look how, which items that are Dutch, for Dutch painters do not, for example, have a date of birth, but should, and uh, similar things like that. And I hope that a lot more wiki projects and so on will be able to make use of entity schemas to take good care of their data. And if you want to learn how to do that, there's a session later in the program as well um, by people who know all about this and will um, make this less of a black box for you. <laughs> um, all right. Another thing that really got traction um, over the last year is the Wikibase ecosystem, right? This idea that not all open data should and has to happen in Wikidata, but instead we want a thriving ecosystem of different places, of different actors, um, like institutions, companies, volunteer projects, opening up their data in a similar way that Wikidata does it, and then connecting all of it, exchanging data between those, linking that data. And 
over the last year, the interest in, in that and the interest in institutions and people running their own Wikibase instance has really exploded. And especially in the sector of uh, libraries. And there's a lot of testing, evaluating, and to be honest, trailblazing <laughs> going on there at the moment where um, adventurous institutions work with us uh, to really figure out how Wikibase can work for their collections, for their catalogs, and so on. Um, among them, the German National Library, the French National Library, OCLC, and it's really exciting to see. <coughs> um, and one of the reasons why I think this is so exciting is that we're helping these institutions open up data in a way that is not just putting it on a website and someone can, can access it, but really thinking about this the next step after that, right? Letting people help you maintain that data, augment that data, enrich it. Um, and that, that's really a shift that I hope will bring good things. And the other thing it helps us with is that it lets experts curate the data in their space, um, keep it in good shape so that we can then um, set up synchronizing uh, processes to Wikidata, for example, uh, instead of having to take care of it ourselves all the time. And at the end of the day, I hope it will take some pressure off of Wikidata to be that place where everything has to go. All right, lexicographical data. Um, over the last year, um, people started describing words in their language in Wikidata so that we can build um, things like automated translation tools. Um, and we're at the point where in some languages we're starting to get nearer to reaching that critical mass that is needed to actually build a serious application. In a lot of languages, we still have a long way to go, but in some, we're really starting to get there, and that's really great to see. If you want to know more about this, come to my session later today. <clears throat> and of course, not to forget, structured data and comments. Um, yes. <laughs> The Structured Data and Commons team at the Foundation has um, really gotten, um, gotten everything together and uh, made it possible to add statements to files on Commons um, over the last year. And people are starting to uh, add those statements to images to then make it easier to find, to build better applications on top of it, and so much more. And it's really exciting to see how that is growing. And I think what is really important for the Wikidata community to understand here is that when you see depicts or house cat um, or sitting lizard and wall here, those are links to Wikidata items and properties. That means um, when we create items and properties, those are no longer just providing the vocabulary for Wikidata itself. They're providing the, wiki, the vocabulary for commons as well. And this will only get more and more so, right? So we have to pay a lot more attention to how our ontology, our vocabulary, is actually used in other places than we had before. All right, and um, the last one I have is that we've started building stronger bridges to the other Wikimedia projects. Um, my team and I are working on a project called the Wikidata Bridge, and you should totally come to the UX booth and uh, do some testing of the current state. Um, that will help, uh, for example, Wikipedia editors edit Wikidata directly from their projects without having to go to Wikidata and having to understand everything around it. And I hope that this will take away uh, one more hurdle that makes it difficult for Wikimedia projects to adopt more data from Wikidata. All right, now two strategies and where are we going? Um, since December, um, 
the Wikidata team at Wikimedia Deutschland and um, people from the Wikimedia Foundation have been working on strategies, uh, papers around Wikidata. And it's basically writing down what a lot of us have been talking about already over the last four or five years. And I, I don't know if all of you have uh, read those papers. They're published on Meta. Um, comments until the end of the month. It would be great if you haven't read them. Uh, go read them, leave your comments, and so on. Now, the very quick overview of what, what is in there is that um, we think about Wikidata and Wikibase in three pieces. The first one is um, Wikidata as a platform. You can see it in the lower corner. And that is really around um, Wikidata enables every person to access and share information, regardless of their language and technology. And we do that by providing general data, purpose data about the world. <coughs> right? So basically, what do you do every day? <laughs> um, the second thing is the Wikibase ecosystem part, where Wikibase, the software running Wikidata, powers not just Wikidata, but a thriving open data web that is the backbone of free and open knowledge. And the third and last thing is um, Wikidata for the Wikimedia projects at the top, where Wikidata is there to help the Wikimedia projects um, make, help make them ready for the future. Concretely, what does that mean? for the nearer midterm future. Um, Wikidata as a platform, right? We want to have better data quality, so we will continue working on better tools, improving the tools we have, and so on. Um, we need to make our data more accessible um, through better APIs, a more robust spoken endpoint, but also things like more consistently modeling our data so it actually is easy to reuse in applications. And the last thing I had was um, setting up feedback processes with our partners, right? Unlike Wikipedia, Wikidata is not what I call a destination project, right? Someone goes to Wikipedia and reads it, um, whereas Wikidata is usually not someone goes to Wikidata and reads it would be awesome, but realistically, it's not what it is, right? So a lot of the people who are exposed to our data are not on Wikidata itself, but they are seeing it through Wikipedia and many other places. Now, these other places do get feedback on that data, right? Their users tell them, hey, here's something is wrong, um, and I would like to have that so that we can make it available to the people who actually edit on Wikidata, meaning you. Um, and figuring out how to do that in a meaningful way without overwhelming everyone um, will be one of the things to do over the next year. All right, uh, Wikibase ecosystem. There, um, we will continue to work with the libraries, um, but also look into uh, science, for example, uh, and more. There is a <coughs> Wikibase showcase uh, later today that you should uh, totally go to and see what's already there and what people are already doing uh, with Wikibase. It's really worth it. Um, and what's needed there is also setting up good processes around that, right? Um, helping people figure out who to talk to about what, where they can find help, um, all these kinds of things. And of course, making it easier to maintain and uh, install and maintain a Wikibase because that's still a bit of a pain. Um, and the last thing is federation, which is basically what we've been talking about for Commons earlier, where Commons uses Wikidata's items and properties, but for other Wikibase instances out there, so that they can also use Wikidata's vocabulary. And that, as I was saying earlier, increases yet again the need to be mindful of how our vocabulary is used out there more than we have had to so far. And Wikidata uh, for the Wikimedia projects, of course, um, the title integration through the Wikidata bridge and helping people edit directly from their projects. 
And the other thing that w we all need to think about together, I think, is figuring out how to reduce the language barriers, right? The more Wikidata is integrated in the Wikimedia projects, the more people will have a need to talk to each other about that data without speaking the same language. And we have to figure out um, how to deal with that. Um, if people have smart ideas, I would love to talk to you. And with that, I come to the end of my talk. Thank you everyone for giving more people more access to more knowledge every day. <laughs>
Uh, I'm just curious to know, and this is a question not from me, but um, from uh, partners that I've been working with, the more uh, partners we have joining Wikidata and starting to experiment with queries, um, the more issues we are having with timeout of yeah. queries. So what, what's happening with that? Hmm. Um, so some people at the Wikimedia Foundation are looking into that, and small spoiler, be there for the birthday present session. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bart Magnus from Belgium, backed. Um, I would like to know what the current state of affairs is regarding federation, um, so reusing your properties in your own Wikibase instance. Is there anything mm -hmm. um, to mention about that? So, over the last year, a lot of uh, people have uh, told us that they want federation, right? Um, but the problem was that a lot of people understood very different things when they said federation. Um, some of those things were very easily doable, some of those things were really, really hard. Um, and my team and I have been talking to a lot of people, for example, um, the partners we work uh, with at libraries, to figure out what is it actually precisely that they need. Um, and we finished that now. Um, though, of course, I'm happy to take more feedback uh, if you want to talk to me about that. Um, and now I'm at a stage, okay, where, where I'm comfortable to say, okay, we're going to start with that. Um, and that will happen over the next, I would say, two or three months um, that we actually um, write the first lines of code and then uh, hopefully have people able to test it early next year, I would say. Okay, last questions. Uh, Finn Orp Nielsen from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, in relation to, to the other language, uh, there's been a sort of discussion in the Wikisite community about uh, whether we should continue to put more scientific papers in, and this relates to how much data we can put into Wikidata. A timeout in the Wikidata query service is one issue, but also the, the maintaining. So, yeah, what are our um, thoughts? What are your thoughts about sort of... Is this... A, is the, the size of Wikidata beginning to be a problem in general? Yeah, should, should we stop putting in lexin data? Should we stop uh, putting in scientific uh, papers into Wikidata? Or, hmm. yeah, uh, do we have any research on this? On the right. so, technical problems facing? Yeah. Um, Wikidata is definitely coming to some scalability boundaries, let's say, um, both technically and socially. And for both, we need solutions, right? Socially, we have things like more edits and recent changes to the point where it's completely infeasible for a human to patrol that because it's simply too much. Um, but also um, technically, and uh, we've been addressing some of that with, for example, some uh, database re-architecturing around uh, WB terms table, if that says anything for anyone. Um, but does only get us so far. And one of the things we want to look at next year is where, where the other pain points are and what to do about them on the technical side. Um, so that's a general picture. At the same time, I... I'm very hesitant to tell anyone, no, 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 stop putting data into Wikidata. That would <laughs> kind of defeat the purpose. <laughs> um, but, for example, the Wikibase ecosystem is one way to address that, right? To not require everything in, in Wikidata. That's the whole beauty of, the, of linked open data. You don't have to have it all in the same place. You can connect different places. It's amazing. Um, so... Around Wikisite specifically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Wikisite specifically, <laughs> um, I think uh, we need to look at it in proportion. I don't have an exact percentage of what um, percentage of the items in Wikidata are around Wikisite topics, but it's a big percentage, and maybe that's the thing we need to talk about in the break. <laughs> Thank you very much.